Before we get into this video, I want to quote the great Stephen A. Smith. When you take into the fact that you're replacing nothing, that makes you something, which is a plus, and that's the way to look at this situation. For the first time in four years, Roblox is hosting a community event with the debut edition of their new The Hunt event series. This event is one of those massive dev hunts where people go into random games to do quests and earn prizes. Except this time around, you don't complete a quest to earn a prize, instead you complete multiple quests to earn a certain amount of badges to unlock prizes. There are 100 games, 7 free prizes, with one being R throw only and another being R15 only, and 5 additional paid prizes. Compared to a regular dev hunt, which aren't overly popular to begin with, the hunt has far less going for it. And I think that's shown in the early reviews for this event because the reactions have been mixed to say the least. You may have seen some of the many polls asking about how people feel about the event and meh leads the way in pretty much all of them. There's been a lot of discussion about whether or not this event is actually good, so let's see what people have to say. Some of the games are literal cash grabs as well with some taking forever, I'm pointing to Maple Hospital, and the fact there's way too many games, but there are some good games to be fair with good quests. So good, and even Inception Time RB joining a small streamer like me to give my audience the headphones was the biggest W. Best event ever! I feel like Roblox should have chosen better games. There's a lot of them that are just grind 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 instead of actually fun gameplay, and others that are just absolute nothing burgers. I haven't had any problems so far, this is the most I've played Roblox in months, I love it. If I were to compare this to the old egg hunts, then this would definitely be the worst one, but I'm keeping an open mind and seeing this as its own thing. I really don't like any of the rewards, so I'm just in it to see how every game went about doing their part. I wish there were way more prizes. I think the items are nice, but some are sized weirdly, but I think for the first event in a long time, it wasn't bad. I wish they had more classic items, and I wish the necklaces would fit all avatars. The hunt is too much and overwhelming, and half of the badges do not have any hints on how to gather them anyways. I quit on the first day. I miss having an item for each badge I got, and everything is free. Not this battle pass. 2020 Egg Hunt was actually good compared to this. You do 95 tasks in several mid-games. You get 5 terrible accessories. What a deal. There's some really tedious games, and some very fun and well done games. It's a mixed bag, but it's still more fun than tedious. 5 free prizes for 95 badges is insane. This is not even close to those 2010 events. Moreover, they ruined it by adding overpriced dog water retextured old items. I rate this event 3 out of 10. Two little prizes. I have 95 badges right now, and definitely felt like going 20 plus badges without an item is a bit too much. I will say, egg hunt wise, it is meh at best. I think most of the hype is from the fact that events are back, which to be honest isn't a bad thing. I just hope that in the future they put more effort into the events, but for now, this is okay. If you want my opinion, on its own, not taking into consideration that this is the first event in 4 years, the hunt is so far one of the worst events I've ever seen. Personally, I'm having a hard time getting interested despite it being the first event in 4 years because of how lackluster this feels. I played older Roblox events so I have a bit of a disdain for dev hunts already, and then there's the prizes and the reward system, which I'm not at all interested in. I have no incentive to start because the introductory accessory is designed for Arthro and doesn't fit virtually any avatar I have. The second tier prize is much better, but it takes 20 quests to complete, which probably would take over an hour to accomplish. Unlike almost every other event where there's solid prizes that are simple to obtain, here there isn't a single universally usable prize that can be obtained in less than 5 minutes. I have no interest in dev hunts and the prizes I'd actually want would take several hours worth of learning new game mechanics to receive. The fact that those cool retextures that leaked are not prizes sucks too, and them being so expensive is even worse. 36,000 robux for this is heresy, especially considering the original version of it cost 18 times less. The hunt has to be one of the emptiest and most boring events Roblox has ever put out, at least so far, because I think there is a shot this gets better. Roblox uploaded a bunch of test hats that some believe could be placeholders for prizes. I think there's around 60 of them, so maybe Roblox converts these into prizes given the badge holders at a later date. 
They have a hard time believing Roblox would host a huge event like this and only have 7 free prizes, but who knows. Things may be bleak now, but you've got to keep in mind this is Roblox's first event in 4 years and so much has changed with their company in that time. It's unlikely that the community engagement or events team that put this together is the exact same as it used to be, so changes would come with that. There's a lot to say about the hunt and I'm definitely going to make a larger breakdown going over its rights and wrongs once it's done. The hunt is a test to see what we want from events, so it's important that we share what we want to see in the future so Roblox can know. That's a video I'll be doing at a later time too, so comment below what y'all want to see so I can include them in a video. Roblox is the hunt first edition event may currently suck, but having a weak event is better than having no event. The hunt is only the beginning of the return of Roblox events, which means things may be a little shaky now, but hopefully improve as time goes on. In the wise words of Stephen A. Smith. When you take it to the fact that you're replacing nothing, that makes you something, which is a plus. And that's the way to look at this situation.